Hi folks, Tim here from High End Cheap Tech, and uh, I got up this morning, you know, just before 11, and I pulled my shoes on and started out the door, and with very little hope in my heart, um, the IRS had said my stimulus check would be here, you know, it was going to be mailed on the 24th. It would have been yesterday. Is it 25th? I'm thinking, yeah, ain't gonna be anything in that box, but oh well. Let's go check. So I open my mailbox at the end of the block. Every house has its own box. And uh, I open it. And lo and behold, you know what's laying in there? There's this envelope. Here it comes. Holy crap! Yeah, stimulus check. So I went and got it cashed. I jumped through a few hoops there. And when I finally got home, I was just like, damn, I'm tired. All this stuff. But then I went and ordered some stuff. And we'll tell you all about that stuff I ordered right after the intro. Be right back. Hey, folks. So, uh, I'm back after that amazing, you know, logo display with its, well, whatever. So, let's get right to, like I said in the title. No more premises, hardware is on the way. So, what did I order? Where did I order it from? And why did I order it where I ordered it? Hmm. So, let's get to that right now. The first one on the list, I ordered through Wireless Place. I found out about this place through uh, Jay Williams. If you haven't checked his channel out, check it look up mr j williams or just j williams and he's always got good stuff hell he talked me into this phone i don't think he knew he was talking to me but he did and uh i ordered it through wireless place and uh, damn can't see a damn thing okay we'll get rid of these uh and so uh, he, uh, has a coupon code there, a discount code. And when you check out, you just type in G capital J, and it's all one word, and then capital W-I-L-L-I-A-M-S. All this stuff will be in the description below. Make sure to check it out. All the links will be in the description below. So, first thing you're going to notice here is this picture is what I got. Yeah, folks. A baby blue phone? Ah, there's a reason. Padawan. That is... <coughs> <coughs> Blue Crush Prism. Oh, I've had enough black backed bones to last me a lifetime, okay? Mini Me Too here has one. All metal, by the way. So, you go to Wireless Place, and you enter that code, and then you just, yeah, go, and of course they're going to charge you tax. And you're just wincing, waiting for what the shipping's going to be, because they really don't tell you. Free two-day air, folks, or free two-day shipping, not air. I don't know how they're getting it here. Camel or whatever. I, they might be in California, that's what I was hoping, because when I ordered it, it had been open for a couple more hours. You never know. But... If you go to wireless place, you're going to get that 10 bucks off. 
you're only going to pay for taxes, and you're going to get any of those colors that comes in white, that, uh, that blue crush prism, and black. But the reason I got the blue crush prism primarily was for this thing. Yes, that's a rinky fusion. X case. I bought that over at Amazon. I hunted it down and found it. No cheap cases here, folks. And since the front of the Samsung already has a screen protector, we should be good to go for months. And this thing has a lip at the back about that tall and a lip at the top at the you know, bottom and the top. Yeah, it's only got a single fire and downward speaker, but you folks don't own earbuds or headsets, it's wireless time. And it's just the way I am. I, I don't want to give it. This figure actually sounds really good, though. Most people will say that's pretty good. So that phone over at Wireless Place, list for $279. When you're done, it's $269.99, which, you know, $270 and $280. So 270 after typing in the J. Williams discount code. Yeah, I would do that. And then I sat there and I knew they'd calculate in the taxes. And then we get to the shipping. And they don't mention that anywhere on their site until you get to the end. And it's like, okay, this is where they hit me up for $8 million dollars. Wrong. Free two day shipping. So that's going to be here first. And I ordered two of the Frankie Fusion cases in the space blue because I just love the space blue case. It looks so cool. And uh, got one for each phone. The only difference is one's going to have a hole in the back because. It's got the always-on fingerprint reader. So you just lay it face down, and when you go to pick it up, you hit the button by the time you've turned it over. Who cares how fast the fingerprint reader is? How fast is your wrist? It's quicker than that. And you're going to get a the Exynos 9611 processor, which is roughly on par with like the Snapdragon 710 series. You know, the, that realm. So it's going to be quicker than what people give it credit for. But it's an Exynos. Oh, bite my ass. It's a good processor. It's the same when they feed to Europe and Asia and everywhere else they sell this stuff at. Or Korea, Asia, India. Yeah. So out the door it was like 286 something. Not bad. Still under 300. That, my friends, is a budget phone. 48 megapixel rear shooter. You know, pixel bins them down to 12 megapixel photos. Um, that's a wide. And then a 12 megapixel ultra wide. Yeah, and uh, five megapixel macro. Don't really need that. What if you, you know, you know, the one time, you know, every time I ever say that, it's like, damn, I can't get in close enough on this to send somebody a picture of it. So, okay, so the macro could be cool. And then the uh, five megapixel depth sensor. On the front, you got a 32 megapixel front shooter it only shoots at 1080 30. Um, i had heard somewhere it shot at 4k i might have been mixing it up with the very phone we're looking at which shoots 4k on everything front rear sides well front and rear and uh but there's only a 20 megapixel front shooter 
I shoot everything at 1080p. I don't care. I ain't pretentious. I don't give a crap. Uh, so we'll be doing some unboxing and first impressions on that. And I'm even going to show you that if you must have it, then you won't need it ever. You could add wireless charging to it quite easily and remove the wireless charging. Easily. Now it's going to charge very slowly that way, but if you just need to top it up during the day and you work at a place that has a wireless charger, well, it might be worth plugging in. And who knows how many days you get out of the battery. And we'll do some battery tests and gaming tests and you name it. Now the other one coming up on the screen. And of course this is getting a rinky space blue. It's going to have the hole in the back because of the always on fingerprint reader. Versus the in screen fingerprint reader on the Samsung. It shoots at 24 megapixels and then 8 megapixel wide or ultra wide and then uh, the usual I think it's 2 megapixel depth sensor. No macro lines. God forbid. No macro lines. How will I take a photo of that bug's eye? Come on, folks. How often do you really need one? Uh, the Samsung, of course, has a night mode. The other phone here that we're looking at is the Huawei P30 Lite. It does not. It has an IPS in plane switching. What, what the Apple calls a retina display. Except this one, at least it's full 1080. But however tall and it's full of 1080 plus yeah, or 1080p HDD or whatever they call it uh, this one also does not shoot at, this one doesn't shoot at anything but uh, 1080p 30 frames a second and I don't give a crap because I shoot everything at 1080 I'm willing to bet most folks ain't going to know the difference. And if you're buying this to give to somebody <coughs> as a budget phone, or you may end up with it as your daily driver, um, I, do you really shoot anything at 4K? No, it's one of them pretentious shit things that... Yeah, oh, let's look at the beautiful 4K. You can't tell the difference, kids. Not when you're watching on a dinky-ass smartphone, trust me. And so, of course, you're getting the Space Blue Fusion X case again, because I like it. And for one of these, I might get one of those sub cases, uh, I think, if I can find one for it. You know, I think it's a sub case. I'm not sure which one. But it's good. You really don't need anything that covers the front on the Samsung because it comes with a built in screen protector. But it might be cool to get one for the P30. And of course, we'll do the inevitable camera comparisons. I'll do the gaming performance and the uh, Huawei comes with the Kirin. 710 high silicon 710 uh that's a 10 nanometer m nanometer chip pretty decent performance out of that probably never going to see an update on it with the current political situation but yeah, you never know um they might be still supporting their old stuff like the honors and you know, the lights and stuff they sent off to America at some point. I don't know. And so that's what I bought. That was a grand total of, I don't know, like 500 and, well, 
or 500 bucks for both all all of them and we're going to get just a ton of video fodder here there'll be comparisons obviously i'll compare this at 4k on the front to the uh um both of them and come on give me a break you need 4k no okay and they both come in well under the 300 these you can officially call what do you call them officially you call them exactly what they are budget phones 300 and down don't just do not fall for the uh, incredibly uh, bad, you know, when, when these reviewers are calling the, you know, the uh, Apple SE 2020. It's a budget. It's $400 freaking dollars, folks. You go, you're in the mid-range. You're now playing in OnePlus's old territory. Budget is 300 and below. At least that's what we promote here. So that's all I got for this evening. Uh, hopefully, we'll get some info and tracking numbers and all that stuff. Um, the rinky cases aren't going to get here until like m next Sunday or something like that. So I'm hoping the... Uh, um, A51, some of them come with a um, temper or a TPU case. I want to get a case on the ASAP. Uh, <coughs> we'll catch you in the next one. I'll have something tomorrow, maybe some progress. Like I said, the wait's over. No more promises now in the next day or two. Well, two days, at least, of that. So, yeah, I'll just kind of sleep a lot while I wait. We'll catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching the whole damn thing, and that's all for tonight.